Seiko in Japan sometimes have special campaigns where you buy a watch, they give you a free gift. They usually give out uh, bags and things like that, but recently they've had some cool gifts and I've got three different sorts here. Let's go through them one by one, starting off with the tuna can. This will be the quickest to describe because it's just an empty can, but it's still pretty cool. I should point out that I didn't get any of these gifts from buying new Seiko watches, unfortunately. I bought them all secondhand on the uh, marketplaces in Japan here. And this one was listed with a photo like that. And it was about $20. So, well, I can get a tuner for $20. And then I looked closely and, of course, realized it was a can. But um, still, I like it a lot. It's, um, yeah, nothing special, but it's a very cool design. It's got mostly English on the can, sort of description of the... Uh, Tuna divers there. A little bit of Japanese at the front there, which just says can case, which is surprising because I think this is only available in Japan. Um, if you know otherwise, then please let me know. But it's perfect for sticking in little batteries or something. Nice for sitting alongside your collection. I know you want to know the important specs, so let's go. It is. What have we got? A case width of 74 millimeters there. So yeah, you're gonna need really big wrists to pull that off, I think, but still very cool addition to the collection. On to the next one, and it's this watch case, which is really nice. I've really, really fallen in love with this. I now have this as the main place where I store my uh, the watches that I'm sort of wearing on rotation. It's just a free gift, so you know it's not the highest quality. You get a little key with it here to supposedly lock it although I can not quite get it to work properly anyway it's got a nice little catch on it but most importantly it says Seiko and it's got little sort of cushion areas so it keeps your watches uh, safe and away from the dust as you can see you get space for three and yeah that's pretty much it let's see what it's like filled up that's better. Filled up now with two Seikos and one Orient. Uh, yeah, you can see the catch is not a great quality there. But still, I think it looks nice. It uh, keeps them dust free. And it's really nice just to have them on display in the morning when I decide what to wear. You can get them in other colors. I think they did dark blue and black as well. And again, as far as I know, this is only available in Japan, but you can still sometimes find them available secondhand. Now on to the final one, and this is from the end of 2021, when they gave away this historical collection pin badge, and it's a set of 14, so they would give you one sort of mystery one in a box like this, and you didn't know what you got until you opened it. And speaking of opening, they're a real nightmare to open without damaging, so I'm gonna do that carefully now. There we go. Wow, that was tough to take out. Okay, and now we've got this foam outer. If we remove that, ta da! We can see it's really nice. 1964 chronograph. And the little sort of display stand there for it. The card base comes out as well. Take that out. And then you can see the whole thing with the clasp at the back. I haven't actually tried taking it out and putting it on my clothes. I'm just going to keep them as little display or ornaments. But they're really nicely made. This one looks like it's got some sort of like patina on the dial. It's not a dial with glass on top. It's sort of all enamel apart from the metal case there. But just really, really nicely made. There were 14 of these made all together. And if we look at the box, we can see 12 of them. And just like Pokemon, they had some secret ones. So there are two secret ones, so 14 all together. And if people are interested, I can do a video of the whole uh, collection. Um, but for now, I'll just show you a sneak peek of a couple of other little ones from the series. 1968 Diver there. Again, really nice. And the 1969 Speed Timer. 
So there you go, some of the free gifts that Seiko have given out to people who have bought watches. I've seen Grand Seiko do the similar thing. I've seen pin badges uh, by Grand Seiko available and watch cases a little bit nicer than this one also by Grand Seiko available on online marketplaces. So if you're watch shopping in Japan and you're going to an official Seiko dealer, it's definitely worth checking what kind of campaigns they've got going.